Electro-Demon. Hi guys, I'm Electro-Demon. Today I'm bringing you the review of a game called Haunting Ground. It's also called Demento in Japan. If you want to find out is this horror game worth your time, stick with this review to find out. So what is Haunting Ground? It's a game made by Capcom, the masters of survival horror games. But Haunting Ground is very different. More on that later. This was supposed to be a clock tower game, but it was switched to be a standalone game mid-production. It came out in 2005 for the PlayStation 2 and it garnered solid reviews and was critically positive. That also translated to sales. <laughs> Why the laugh, you ask? Because the game sold very poorly. Why? Well, who knows? But this game has a cult following on the internet and it's revered as a cult classic. You play as Fiona Belly, an 18-year-old girl who was with her parents in a car accident. The car crashed, your parents died and you wake up in a mysterious castle all alone with no idea why you're here. You find this castle to be empty and you're on your way to find the exit. Fiona is very sexualized with her wearing a short skirt and she also has big boobs that bounce around when you run. I mean, it's ridiculous, but hey, who am I to judge? But Fiona is very pretty, kind of like your mom was before she had you. <laughs> it wouldn't be a survival horror game without some enemies. Pursuers, to be precise. The first one chasing you will be Debilitas. This is a large dude that obviously has some mental disability. And how do you get rid of him? Well, there isn't a way to kill your pursuers. You run away from Debilitas and then hide in a closet or under a bed. This is the game's main mechanic. Running away from enemies and hiding until the danger is no longer present. But you need to be careful. If you hide in one spot for too many times, your pursuers will eventually catch on and will find you there. If an enemy grabs you, you go into this state of panic. This sorta represents Fiona's state of mind. Too much panic and you die. Just before you're gonna die, there's this effect with the screen going all nuts. After you progress to a certain point, Debilitas will no longer be your pursuer. Instead, that role is now filled by Daniela. I've gathered some clothes for you. She's very creepy, kind of like you are, my dear viewer. <laughs> She's great as a character. Basically, she can't feel pain or enjoyment and she can't have children. So she thinks by killing you, she will be able to have all these things. There's also a creepy scene where she wants to caress your vajayjay. Yeah. After a certain amount of time and certain events in the game, your pursuer will be Ricardo. He carries a pistol and actually shoots at you. There's an interesting story involving him and you will find out throughout the game, so I won't spoil it for you. The final enemy is Lorenzo. He seemed like your ally throughout the game, but now you found out that, well, he isn't. I like the pursuit mechanic. I normally classify these games as walking simulators. Amnesia, layers of fear, and I don't like them. But I very much enjoyed Haunting Ground. It's really well designed. And now I have to talk about the dog, Huey. He's gonna be your partner throughout the whole game. And he's cute. You can issue four basic commands to the dog. Kinda like your mom does to your dad. <laughs> By pressing up on your right analog stick, you command Huey to search for items and go to a specific place. In battle, this command is used for attack. Right is telling him that he did a good job. Down is a command for following and left is for scolding him when he doesn't listen to you. Apparently, if you treat your dog poorly, he'll stop listening to your commands. I don't know. I didn't have a problem with this. He always listened to me and did what I told him to do. Huey is not the only one who can attack enemies. You can also do that by pressing square. You have this really lame kick and it's not worth using. Just look at it. <laughs> There's crafting in this game. You can craft medicinal items aka recovery items for you and your dog and even some offensive ones. 
you can throw these offensive items at enemies doing damage to them or stunning them allowing you to escape and hide. You have these holes in the wall spread throughout the castle and in them there is a machine that allows you to craft items but it's rubbish. You have to press these colors and it's very difficult and not precise. You'll be spending most of your time in this castle. It's a huge castle and it's designed pretty well with multiple paths, locked doors, etc. The gameplay is pretty much a standard Resident Evil formula. Collecting items, keys, unlocking doors and solving puzzles. And the puzzles are not too hard, but they are very interesting. Some even involve Huey. There are boss fights with each of your pursuers. All fights have some clever tricks. This is a PlayStation 2 game, so it's bound to look a bit dated. I've played this on the PC using a PlayStation 2 emulator. I was able to get the game running at three times the native rendering and in 1080p widescreen. It all worked great, except Fiona's face and legs. You might have noticed that Fiona's face and legs are black. She is not African American. <laughs> This is a problem if you're running in hardware mode using an AMD graphics card. Something to do with a bad OpenGL support from AMD. But the game works flawlessly in its original state. But then there's no widescreen, no higher internal rendering. I'm more than happy to trade Fiona's face, legs and some transparency visual glitches for 1080p widescreen. The audio is top notch with eerie ambiental sounds and shrieks. I love it. I also love your mom. <laughs> so, you don't have a PlayStation 2 and you want to play Haunting Ground. No problem. Let's look at eBay. <laughs> yeah, this is a mighty expensive and a rare game. If you don't have the money, well, I don't know how you're gonna get the game. I know that I'm not willing to fork that kind of cash. You might resort to some shady stuff online, but I'm not suggesting it. Decide for yourself. So is this game any good? Well, yeah, yes it is. I can see why it has a cult following. It's really scary and the fact that you can't really defend yourself, it's pretty fitting for a horror game. It's gonna take you around eight to 10 hours to complete. There are four endings, so there's some replay value here if you want it. Haunting Ground is a forgotten horror game and it's a shame. If you're in a mood for some high quality horror game from Capcom, well, give Haunting Ground a chance. It's a great game. If I had to give a score to this game, I'd give it 9.3 out of 10. Subscribe if you haven't already, it would really help me a lot. Check out more of my content if you liked the video. The Achilles heel of this channel was always the audio and now I've invested in Zoom H1N recorder and I also edit the audio in Audacity before it's rendered. You can also join NeoGAF, a video game forum which I'm a proud member of.